Mother Goose is here now, here now, here now. Mother Goose is here now, and you are too. We're gonna have fun, yes, we're gonna have fun, yes, we're gonna have fun. There's lots to do. Mother Goose is here now, here now, here now. Mother Goose is here now, and Lucy too. Hooray! Hi, Lucy. I'm so glad that you came to join us today. What's that you brought with you? Hmm, looks like a mystery case. Lucy has a mystery case, a mystery case, a mystery case. Lucy has a mystery case. I wonder what's inside. It looks like a mystery suitcase. Lucy, are we going on a trip? Hooray! We're going on a trip somewhere in the wide, wonderful world. I wonder, where are we going? We could be going anywhere in the whole wide, wonderful world. This is our globe. Globes are round, and you can see the shape of our Earth and the different continents around it. Maps are flat, like this one on the wall behind me, but we can still see all of the different continents on our planet Earth. I wonder which continent we're going to visit today. Let's sing our continent song. Continents, continents, there are seven continents. Sing with me the names of all seven continents. Are you ready? Point up. North America, point down. South America, Europe, Africa, Asia. Get ready to hop like a kangaroo. Kangaroos hop in Australia. Now pretend you're cold. And don't forget Antarctica. Let's try it again. I'll show you all the motions and you do them with me. We're going to clap at the beginning. We're going to hold up seven fingers. That's five plus two more. We're going to point up we're going to point down. We're going to make a circle with our hand. We're going to go like this and then make it bigger for Asia. We're going to hop like a kangaroo and give ourselves a great big warm up hug and pretend we're cold. Ready? Here we go. Continents, continents, there are seven continents. Sing with me the names of all seven continents. Point up. North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia. Kangaroos hop in Australia and poof, don't forget Antarctica. I wonder which of the seven continents will we be traveling to today? I have an idea. Let's take a look inside Lucy's mystery case. Maybe there are some clues inside to tell us where we're going. Do you want to see inside Lucy's mystery case? If you do, give me a thumbs up. All right, let's open up her suitcase and see what's inside. Well, first is a passport. Do you know what a passport is? A passport is a special book. It's a special little book with pages inside. And when you're traveling from one country to another country, they put a stamp in it. Let me see if I can show you one. Can you see that little stamp up there? They put a stamp in your passport to say, welcome to our country. And then when you're leaving, stamp. Goodbye, thanks for visiting our country. And then when you get back home again, stamp, you're back home where you belong. That's a passport. You could make a little pretend passport out of just some paper. You could use crayons or markers. And every time we visit a new country or a new continent, you could do a little stamp in your own passport. That would be a lot of fun. So the passport tells us that we're traveling someplace far away another country or another continent, and we need our passport to travel. That's our first clue. Hmm, let's see what else we have. A baseball and a football 
football helmet. Hmm. Do you know what country or what continent likes to play baseball and football? You're right. Lots of countries play these games now. But do you know where these games started? That's another clue. Let's see what else is in here. A hamburger. Yum, 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 yum. Well, the place that we're visiting today is the country in the continent where the very first McDonald's restaurant started. And they serve billions and billions of hamburgers. You want to take a bite? Yum, 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 yum. Let's see what else. Oh, look, a cowboy hat. Hmm, where were there lots of cowboys? Hmm, there are still some today, cowgirls too. Do you have any ideas? Let's put all our clues together. Cowboy and cowgirl hats, the very first McDonald's. We're going to need our passport because it's a country in a continent and it's the country that started professional baseball and professional football. This kind of football. Do you know what it is? <laughs> yes, we're traveling to North America. That's right. We're traveling to the United States of America and that is a country in North America. Here's North America, all here. And the United States is just this one section of North America. And that's where we're headed today. Continents, continents, there are seven continents. Sing with me the names of all seven continents. North America, that's where we're going. South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, kangaroos hop in Australia, and poof, don't forget Antarctica. But today, we're going to travel to North America. Get ready for takeoff. Here are three cool facts about North America. First fact. There are 23 countries all part of North America, but three of them are the biggest. Can you make your arms big, big, big? Start small and go big, bigger, bigger, biggest. The biggest country in North America is Canada. It's way up here on our map. There's also the United States of America. That's part of the continent of North America. And Mexico. Mexico is down here. And United States is in the middle. But there's lots of other countries part of North America too. 23 all together. Let's try and jump 23 times for the 23 countries in North America. Stand up. We're going to jump and count to 23. Ready? Set, jump! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Stop! How many countries are in North America? 23! Hooray! That's our first cool fact about North America. The second cool fact about North America is the continent of North America has every kind of landform. Every kind! There are tall, tall mountains and deep, deep valleys. There are rivers, there are plains, there are even glaciers with ice. Every kind of landform North America has. There are sandy beaches. There are dense forests. So many different types of places you could visit in the continent of North America. We could use some clay and try and make some of the landforms. Do you have any kind of clay 
that you could make some of the landforms we find in North America? <laughs> you can shape it into all sorts of things. Like maybe this orange one is the desert sand with a little cactus. And then an icy snow-capped mountain so tall. Here's a dense forest with lots of green trees. And this one is a deep, deep cavern, maybe like the Grand Canyon. And you could even roll out some white sandy beaches. Maybe if you have a North American baseball, you can even use the baseball to roll out your clay and make all of the different landforms we can find in North America. So our first cool fact was that there are 23 countries in the continent of North America. Our second cool fact was that there is every type of landform in the continent of North America. Our third cool fact is that there's also every kind of weather from hot, hot, hot to freezing cold. There are rainforests where it's really humid and there are deserts where it's really dry. Isn't that cool? Depending on where you visit in North America, you might need to pack your bathing suit, sunscreen and sunglasses, or you might need your warmest winter jacket and snow boots. Very cool. The continent of North America has lots and lots of animals. One of the animals that you can find roaming around North America is hiding behind these numbers. Let's count the numbers and then we'll take them off one by one and you will get to peek at the pictures hiding behind the numbers and try and guess what North American animal is it? Let's count first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, hmm, should we take the numbers off in order from one to nine, or should we go backwards from nine to one? Let's go backwards today. We'll start with number nine. As I take them off, Peek behind the numbers and just shout out your guesses. What North American animal is hiding behind the numbers? Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Any guesses yet? Three. You might be right. Two. One. What animal is it? Yes, it's a wolf. This is a gray wolf. And they're just one of many animals that live in the continent of North America. Another animal that lives on the continent of North America is a moose, a moose. Now, moose live in North America, but they also live in other continents too. And in some other places, they call them elk. But here in North America, we call them moose in most of the countries. And here's something cool about moose. They can run faster than you can. Moose can run faster than humans. And the male moose have these big antlers on top of their head and they can grow to be more than six feet. That's pretty tall. That's probably taller than most of the grown-ups that you know. And that's how tall just their antlers can grow to be. Let's read a fun story about moose tracks. And then we're going to make a fun craft about moose as well. Moose Tracks, written by Karma Wilson and Jack E. Davis. There are moose tracks on my back porch. I'm not sure how they got there. One thing I'm fairly certain of, last night those tracks were not there. There is bear hair on my lawn chair, but a bear came by to eat. 
when we barbecued our supper, he shed hair there on his seat. Bear hair, I remember, but who left all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks in my kitchen, and I'm itching to know why. Some friends dropped over yesterday, but not one moose dropped by. Hmm. There are nutshells on the counter, but a chipmunk left them there. He was making nut fudge sundaes for the two of us to share. Nutshells, I remember, but who left all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks on the den floor. How they got there, I can't say. Last night there were no moose tracks and they're everywhere today. There are feathers on my carpet, but my best pal is a goose. We were playing hokey pokey and her feathers fluttered loose. Feathers, I remember, but who left all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks in my bathroom. It's an all out mystery. If I only knew who left them, he could mop them up for me. There are moose prints in my bathtub, but my maid, she is a mouse. And she's always leaving wee prints when she tidies up my house. Mouse prints, I remember, but who left all these moose prints? There are moose tracks in my bedroom. They are spattered all around. Noisy moose feet should have clattered, but I never heard a sound. There are wood chips in my guest bed, but a beaver spent the night. He got hungry and the bedpost looked pretty good. He took a bite. Wood chips, I remember, but who left all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks on my back porch, in my kitchen and my den. In my bathroom and my bedroom, moose tracks everywhere I've been. Who on earth left all these moose tracks? I'm quite sure I'll never guess. Do you have a guess who left all the moose tracks? Why, look at me. I am a moose and I don't make a mess. It was Mr. Moose all along. Mr. Moose, who lives in the continent of North America? Hey, check it out. Here's a North American moose. You can make one too. Ask your grown-ups if they can help you if you need any help with the tracing or the cutting. All you'll need to make this North American moose is a brown piece of construction paper, a white piece of paper, a pair of scissors or your grown-up to help you with the cutting, a glue stick to glue them together, and a crayon or a marker. Let me show you how we make this North American moose. We'll take all the pieces apart and then we'll put them back together. This first part is our moose's head. And guess how I made it? I traced my foot. If you put your foot down on top of the piece of brown paper and trace around your foot, don't go in and around every toe, just go around your shoe or your sock, you'll get a shape like this one for the moose's head. And you can use your crayon to make his eyes and his nose and smile. Then I have two that I made with my hands. Put your hands on top of the white paper, trace around the fingers, and ask your grown-up for help if you need help cutting them out. And then pop those on the top with a glue stick or some tape. And there's your moose's antlers. Do you remember how big a male moose's antlers can grow to be? That's right, six feet long. Those are some big antlers. And then the last part, are his little ears. It's just a little oval shape cut out of that same brown paper. We'll put those right there. And now we have a North American 
moose. Uh, I feel like chucking some wood. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? You'll try and say that with me. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Try it again. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Yay! Hey, Mr. Woodchuck. Thanks so much for sharing that fun woodchuck rhyme. You know, friends, another name for a woodchuck is a groundhog. And in North America, they celebrate Groundhog's Day every, um, when is it? Do you remember, Mr. Woodchuck? Oh, that's right. Every February 2nd, they celebrate Groundhog Day. And groundhogs, or woodchucks, whatever you call them, come out. And what is it that you look for on that day? Oh, that's right, your shadow. And whether or not he sees his shadow helps determine, are we going to have six more weeks of winter or an early spring? And here's something even cooler. North America is the only place in the world where groundhogs and woodchucks live. All right, Lucy, I know. We better hurry if we're going to catch our plane. Hey, friends, it's time to take off on our trip to North America. Board the flight and get ready for takeoff. It's time to say goodbye now, goodbye now, goodbye now. It's time to say goodbye now to Mother Goose. We had a great time. Yes, we had a great time. Yes, we had a great time. We hope that you did too. See you on the plane and see you in North America.